In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to create the zipper type of reveal which you can reveal any text, logos or anything else. Let's get into it. So I'll be starting off with my text here in the middle of my comp and let's start off by creating a solid, make it black and we'll call this mask. Let's hide it for now and create a mask about halfway through our text like so. And maybe extend this up. Let's select our text layer and set it to alpha mat to this mask. Now let's hit P for position on our text, go to the first frame, about here, and we animate it down, like so. Let's select these keyframes, hit F9. Okay, now let's go ahead and duplicate this, and select our first mask, hit M, and change this to subtract. Go to our second text, go into position, and make this go up instead of down. So basically we have our text split and one half is going down, one half is going up. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this whole thing. We'll name this text and let's create another solid and we'll call this zipper. Let's hide the text for now and I'm going to reveal the background. I'm going to add an effect called CC split. And what that does is basically creates a gap which opens up like a mouth or anything else. And let's go ahead and move point A all the way here and point B a lot further like so. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is enough only to reveal the text. I'm gonna set a keyframe on our split and point A. Let's bring these up and about the same length. So two seconds, point A is gonna move a bit to the right like so and split set to zero. Select, hit F9, and we basically get this zipper type of animation. Let's unhide our text, and we sort of want to align these two, so about here, let's have the text start its animation. So I'm gonna select it all, hit U, and move these keyframes about here. You basically wanna align the text animation with the zipper one we created, like so. Let's go ahead and set the text to alpha inverted mat and disable this. So basically, this is what we've got, our text collapsing into each other and a zipper closing down from the outside. Okay, let's pre-compose this, we'll name this text, and let's create another solid, we'll call this grad, and add the gradient ramp to it. Let's move this color over here and this one over here. And we can go ahead and hide it and drop it underneath. Now with this text layer, let's add an effect called Time Displacement. And under Layer, let's select the gradient we just created and make sure you change it from Source to Effects and Mask. So basically what that does, if we play this back, you can see our text is being collapsed by smaller blocks here, which is basically delaying the animation from left to right. Now if we go into our gradient here, and simply swap the colors, we've got the same animation happening from the other side. And this is pretty much the effect. If you want more of these blocks, you can go into the time resolution here. And if we increase this to about 80, we get a few more. If we go to 40, we get a few less. I'm just gonna go with the default one here, but you can play around with this. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this. And something you can do if you want to, to get this type of retro-ish look, is go into your composition settings by hitting right click here and comp settings and change the frame rate to 15. And if we play this back you can see it looks more cartoonish with a lower frame rate and this is just something you can add. Also you can always go in here and change some of the timings so if you want to go into the zipper here and maybe delay this a bit further you can do that and it will update it automatically like so. So now if you want to add some colors, you can duplicate this layer, move this a few frames forward and add a fill effect. Let's select red, but maybe closer to this. And let's duplicate it one more time. And we can create a green one like so. You can do as many as you want. Now let's go ahead and pre-compose this whole thing and create a background, maybe grayish like so, a bit purple. And basically we're going to be recreating this retro kind of look. Uh, let's go ahead and select our text layer and add an effect called hue and saturation. This is only if you want to make this look retro -ish. you can stop watching here. But I'm just going to show you how I made the first composition that you've seen in the video. Let's add a noise effect and set this to maybe 30. 
And there's a lot of free resources that provide stock footage, such as this one. And once we have it, we can just go ahead and scale this up, or if you want to keep these details, and set this to something like soft light here. So this is how you create the zipper effect. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.